Oh. I dah ada misai dah sekarang. You know why aku simpan misai? Sebab semua orang cakap aku nampak macam budak-budak. At my age, bila you dah 20 lebih, you masih nampak macam budak-budak. That's not good. So aku simpan misai. In summa. In summa. Thanks bro. Okay, we'll see you guys Prince Maid here. Assalamualaikum semua orang. How's everybody doing today? Let's see what is happening dekat dalam kita punya dunia hingga ni. Baru-baru ni, uh, kita ada the President of the United States, um, Joe Biden. Ada satu event ke ke whatever. Dia salam semua orang, tapi bila dia nampak satu perempuan yang kulit hitam, dia skip perempuan tu. Dia salam sebelah aku. Dia salam sebelah aku. Tapi dia tak salam aku. Aku dekat in the middle. Like like I'm in the middle. You can clearly nampak aku. Why dia buat macam tu? I don't know. Tak aku tahulah. Tak amat salim macam mana. You know. My choice! My choice! In this next one you guys. I really confirm right now is that we are living in the future. Relation is popular. Ada dua robot. Tak, yang macam mengamuk gila. This is only the beginning. Robots taking over kita punya kerja semua. Robots will take over someday. And that is memang dah 100%. What else is happening di dunia kita hari ini lho? This is weird. Korang semua kan tahu kan, all this uh, luxury handbags. So kan masing-masing ada kilang-kilang dia kan? Okay, so this is where they make these handbags semua. Diorang buat these shoes, apa bagai semua. Louis Vuitton. Nak buat satu handbag ni, harga dia $57. And then, kita manusia, kita akan beli handbag tu untuk harga $14,000, $13,000. Anyone buying luxury bags is an idiot. The material are exactly the same macam kau beli handbag dekat Aeon. Yang berharga RM63, RM68. How much of that is markup? What does it actually cost to make a designer bag? It's $170 and how much was it? $2,450 was paid. Perang sanggup nak join the trend. So, they sanggup buy something yang harga RM13,000, RM15,000, RM16,000 even. When handbag tu sebenarnya RM57, which equals to around rm ringgit, I think. This bag right here cost $300,000. And not because it's lined with diamonds or was owned by the late Queen Elizabeth, but because this is a Birkin bag. Orang-orang yang bodoh dia yang akan beli. Orang-orang yang support Yahudi punya products yang akan beli. So, the next one kan guys. Okay, aku tak tahu kenapa dengan perempuan. The Prince of Dubai ada wife. Rumors are going around kan guys. Dia curang banyak. Dia ditinggalkan bini dia dekat rumah and then dia pergi curang banyak. Okay. Dia punya wife pergi post ni dekat social media. Dear husband, as you are occupied with other companions, I hereby declare I will divorce. I divorce you. I divorce you. And I divorce you. Take care. Do you have... Kau kena ke cakap semua benda ni online? I divorce you, I divorce you, I divorce you. Our new video, video, you guys, is brought to you by Okta Trading App. Big news, everybody. Thanks to our amazing partnership with Okta, we are thrilled to launch an exclusive giveaway just for all of you, our subscribers. I am excited, you guys, to announce that we are giving away 10 
thousand ringgit. That is, guys, one hundred bucks each to hundred lucky beginning traders. This is your chance, you guys, to kickstart your trading journey and open up a new stream of income. Here's how to grab your share, you guys. Step one: click the link in the description, of download and register on Octa Trading App. Step two. Make your first deposit using the promo code PRINCE. That is my promo code, you guys. Don't forget P-R-I-N-C-E. And step three, submit your trading account number via our Google form. And remember, you guys, this giveaway is exclusively for new Okta traders who haven't made any deposits before. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity, you guys. Download Okta right now, you guys, for all from. Click the link in the description for a bonus deposit with my promo code again, Prince. So what are you waiting for, you guys? Download Okta Trading app now and let's start trading towards a brighter financial future together. Good luck. See you guys there. Okta Trading app, your gateway to a smarter way to trade. Download now and claim your 100 ringgit giveaway today. And the next one, you guys. Okay, biar tak handsome janji kau. Uneducated people yang akan fikir macam tu. Ada lagi satu line that goes like, biar dah tua janji kau. This guy must see macam. 94, 95 years old. Aku rasa this is his wife. Aku rasa mesti dalam 29 or 30. And it's not just orang Melayu kita. It's, it's everyone on earth. Let's get serious sekejap. Aku jujur sekarang aku cakap, jangan beli ayam dekat supermarket doh. These two guys, don't pergi letak magnet dekat ayam yang mentah ni. And not just dekat satu ayam. It's like more and more and more. Yes, ayam semua dapat Malaysia. Tapi ayam tu semua, do you think it's fresh and healthy? Do you think it's bersih untuk kita makan? They put something in it. And everybody knows that. Anyway, New York City. You all semua tahu kan? Macam mana dengan benda-benda pondan ni semua macam dah merebak. I might be gay, I don't know. Hey, do you mind covering for me for a bit? I might go lay down in the john. Even dekat Malaysia, bro, dah banyak gila tu. Ini video of seorang lelaki yang macam OKU. Main dia punya drums untuk dua orang. I don't know how to... This next one, you guys, is actually very, very beautiful. Salah satu video yang paling beautiful I have ever seen in my entire life. Budak-budak dekat Scotland yang tengah nak convert kepada Islam. It's so good to see good stuff like this. You know what I mean? Reptilians, reptiles. Ini semua memang a part of that. To see the skin shift from being smooth into scales. The royals, tea, sepabaga ni semua, you guys. All these huge, huge names. You have to sell your soul to the devil, and then some of them will actually become a reptilian. Chontoni, which is Mark Zuckerberg. Mark. Are the allegations true that you are secretly a lizard? What? Oh, oh my really? God, the inside of the hoodie, everybody. Take a moment. Uh, what is it? Making the 
making the world more open and connected. Oh my god, it's like a secret Ooh. vault. Weird symbol in the middle that is probably for the Illuminati. No, on that. Uh, I, I, am, I am not a lizard. Um, and, and I was human. I am human, still. Um. Uh, what do you mean, guys? LeBron James, the most famous NBA punya guy of our generation, how do you mean? I'm going to interview you on live television. Pastu, this happened. LeBron Lizard Man James, look at his eyes. Look, look, look at his eyes. You see the reptile eyes right there? This is a high class reptilian shapeshifter. LeBron Lizard Man James caught live shapeshifting in the 2024 Olympics. I can't believe this. And get up the next one happened di Malaysia. Ada satu perempuan ni dia pergi curi this lady punya purse daripada dia punya handbag. Kau pakai tudung ke, kau tak pakai tudung ke, kau lelaki ke, kau perempuan ke, kau ustaz ke, kau ustazah ke. If kau manusia, kau manusia juga. Bro. I'm telling you now, man. You don't, you can't trust nobody, man. And I'm being for real. Ustaz dengan ustazah pun macam always ada case now. Membela diri atas pertuduhan mencabul seorang lelaki di sebuah hotel pada Disember 2020. Sentuh budak kecil lah apa bagai. Sekali lagi dihadapkan ke mahkamah atas tuduhan merogol remaja berusia 14 tahun. Aku bukannya macam nak kurang ajar. These people akan gunakan Allah, Allah, Allah untuk nak buat duit tu. And then they go home, they lie down, dan tengok handphone dia. Handphone dia, kau rasa apa? Come on. Facts. Seorang bapa memberikan alasan tidak sengaja merogol anak kandungnya sendiri ketika dihadapkan ke mahkamah session Kota Baru. This one is actually pretty amazing. A rare limited edition $1,000 Donald Trump cash. You want to see something wild? Look at this. My neighbor let me borrow this. All right, so gold 999999 or is it 66666 I know I know that's reaching it's not 666 right no way but let's flip it around okay so this is right side up right that's right side up and right there you can see it is 666 tell me tell me why they designed it like this. It's not a random serial number. They're all the same. Why? I don't like to say the word Illuminati though, tapi memang betul though. What do you want me to say? Everything memang they control by the Illuminati. Orang semua fikir pasal hantu pula. Why? There's a lot of other stuff in here, but uh, this is pretty wild. Wake the hell up. Okay, and now kita akan start kita punya video. Yes, video baru nak start. So. <laughs> I don't know what y'all thought this was, but this is the GOAT. I had this made because somebody told me I was the GOAT. So I wanted to make me a GOAT chain. All that other shit y'all talking about, I don't know what y'all talking about, but this is the GOAT. Media loves starting shit. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm gonna be having fun in Paris. Yeah, Glow. Live right now, you guys, in Paris, France, is the Olympics right now. A few days ago, you guys, it was the Olympics 2024. 
punya opening ceremony tau Mula-mula macam biasa ok you guys Ok nama-nama minister ni semua Dengan muka-muka yang kau memang tak boleh percaya I'm telling you though The people and the names yang ada dekat that event The Olympics this year you guys Are the people who can shut down kita punya world in an instant But kita tak tahu who they are We don't know their names We don't know these people siapa tapi these people lah yang ada kuasa And aku kalau lebih-lebih kan Olympics ni guys sepatutnya Sepatutnya Represent semua negara yang wujud Di dalam satu planet kita ni tau Okay, we have to acknowledge every country Every country punya best athletes akan pergi ke Olympics That we are the best athletes from this country Ke okay, daripada that country, daripada this country Semua orang work hard They train so so hard to get to the Olympics. Berenang lah, boxing lah, lepas tu lari semua. Guys, it is hard work. This is their WrestleMania. This is their big big stage. Di setiap Olympic punya event, every opening ceremony, it was okay. It was fine. Sampai baru-baru ni, orang kuto agama Kristian. Aku takut nanti aku salah cakap. Aku tak ada mana ni kan. As a Christian, how are you not furious? How are you not angry by what they've just done? They've openly mocked your entire religion from head to toe. There are young people who train their entire lives to be there to represent our countries. Can we please give them the focus? Orang boleh make jokes and they can get away with it. But orang tak pernah cakap pasal Islam. These people know If they orang cakap sikit pasal Islam, the whole world I can cancel the whole Olympic as a whole. What they mock Islam? I dare you. We know it's how France didn't mock Islam because it's an Islamic country now. The whole, all of Paris would be on fire if they tried that shit. Ada satu point ni guys is where this guy punya thing boleh terkeluar daripada dia pun seluar and it was on live television. Benda ni, you guys, dia orang nak sebarkan kepada kita semua. Kepada budak-budak. Kepada budak-budak yang umur lima tahun ke atas. Ada lagi satu benda, you guys. Korang remember tak? Kan masa lockdown. Orang kalau kena je penyakit tu, lepas tu ada video yang tiba-tiba jatuh semua. Yang tengah jalan semua, dekat tepi jalan semua. Lepas tu tiba-tiba jatuh. Jatuh je meninggal. You know what I mean? Guess what? They showed you guys the guy the Olympics punya dance punya ni. They are showing you guys the things yang dah happen to kita di dunia. First and kau to cho and then you have fun, you dance, you dance around, you have a good time and then kau jatuh. One by one akan jatuh. I can go on And on okay, you guys, terlampau banyak gila signs yang happen at the Olympics this year. Macam it's so interesting to see tau, negara mana yang menang, itu menang ke, ini menang ke. It's it's so interesting to see tau. Tapi after semua benda ni, What they mock Islam? I dare you! Aku jujur sekarang, Dol, aku cakap, Dol, kita punya dunia ni guys, I'm being extremely honest, aku jujur lah. Dunia memang akhir zaman tu. Until baru-baru ni, salah satu kategori in the Olympics, you guys, it's boxing. Ada satu lelaki, I mean perempuan, I don't know. Ada satu manusia ni, nama dia is Iman Khalif. Dia daripada Algeria. Dan dia bergaduh dengan satu perempuan ni. And the match, you guys, lasted only 46 saat. Because I don't know. After the fight, you guys, dia menangis because because dia tahu yang dia tak fight dengan perempuan. Dia fikir yang dia fight tu bukan perempuan, itu seorang lelaki. Satu dunia pergi serang manusia ni dekat social media. Kenapa lelaki now allowed nak pergi fight dengan perempuan? Orang semua cakap lelaki ni pukul perempuan on live television. Orang-orang Hollywood pun pergi serang Iman Khalif. She got hit so hard she didn't know what the hell hit her. It's a person that transitioned. He was a good he was a good male boxer. Kenapa lelaki ni 
in the ring dengan perempuan. It's not fair. Medical result, blood result, looks and say the laboratories that this motion is made. We all found out that Iman Khalif dilahirkan seorang perempuan. Alhamdulillah, liyum kutfil mu'id. Ini lelaki ke perempuan? Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Ini perempuan. Tapi ia ke? I don't know. You see? Lelaki ke perempuan, you guys? I want you guys to comment dekat bawah because I will be reading every single one. I don't know because aku rasa you guys aku betul-betul fikir that dia ni memang seorang perempuan and dia punya muka dan memang macam tu apa you all semua fikir lelaki perempuan let me know Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar syukran November 22, 1963. Amerika punya presiden masa tu, it was John F. Kennedy. Ada satu rally, you know, macam ada kereta semua, lepas tu macam high semua. Masa dia tengah in the car, dia dengan wife dia. Someone pergi tembak kepala dia sampai dia mati on the spot. Video ni, you guys, will forever live in the history books for all of mankind on July 13, 2024. Ada satu budak ni yang bernama Thomas Crook. On July 13, you guys, Donald Trump, future president, ada dia punya rally tau masa tu, dekat Butler, Pennsylvania. He arrived as the man. Look, they're all pointing. Yeah, someone's on top of the roof. Look. Gary is right there. Right there, see him? He's laying down, see him? Yeah, he's laying down. What's happening? Yeah, look, there he is. Because we have millions and millions of people in our country that shouldn't be here. Right here, right on the road. It's much tougher than now. The moment you pushing the puna kapale, someone timba. Nasib baik you guys kena telinga dia. If dia tak gerak, you guys dah kena dah dia punya dahi dia, dia dah mati on the spot. He was very very lucky you guys sebab dia gerakkan dia punya kepala sikit dia ke belah kanan. Orang yang tembak tu dekat atas the roof tau masa tu you guys. So you actually saw the man on top of the roof behind us. Yes. A few minutes after that you guys, orang yang pergi tembak tu dah mati. You tengok dia kan you guys. You were macam Really? Is this the guy ke yang nak buat semua benda? You know? Trump. They let him out in his car and then they uh, then they drove him away. A few days after that, you guys, ada satu iklan ni yang keluar. Tiba-tiba, they found this guy dekat dalam satu iklan. Orang kata yang dia dulu kind of dibully dulu, you know? After incident ni, you guys, now seluruh Amerika now akan vote untuk Donald Trump. One by one, semua cakap that Donald Trump is a hero. All this you guys mungkin di set up untuk nak naikkan nama Donald Trump. Donald Trump punya telinga went completely fine. Dia punya telinga macam dah okey balik 100%. Macam nothing happened. You guys fikir semua benda ni memang dah dirancang by Trump punya kerajaan untuk nak naikkan nama Trump. You will be fine. Kita akan take care of you. You akan jadi presiden lagi sekali. Kau jangan risau. Aku fikir semua benda ni memang dah dirancang daripada kerajaan orang. Ni semua memang Illuminati. This is what they do. Guys, kita ada people yang sembah patung Donald Trump macam dia ni memang Tuhan you tahu tak? Nenu nama dam jaring ni. Adi prema ni di, abu mana mana ni, abu mana mana ni. Dewan laga. पूजित कुंटो नानो, ने नो एक कड़क कड़क शुक्रार और शुक्रार और रोज़ आयने को फास्टिंग गुड़ा उन्टा ने।
Lepas tu dengan benda-benda pondan ni semua guys is everywhere. Are you okay kalau anak kau yang berumur 4 tahun, 5 tahun tengok something like this? First thing I want you to do is close your eyes. Now think, do you feel like a boy, a girl or a little bit of both? They know everyone is watching. Untuk nak make them accept, oh this is how kita punya dunia hari ni. If anak aku pondan nak aku cekik tau, oh. binatang pun ada otak. Aku jantan, aku kena dengan peti ni. Kau manusia, kau Islam and you still jadi pondan. I have no words for that. Apa benda kita boleh buat, just sit down and observe. Can we change things? We might. But how? Hey guys, that's it for today. Okay, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hari ni punya video dia macam lain sikit, right? Hey, like on this video, you guys. Kalau korang nak video macam ni lagi, subscribe to this channel kalau korang mula subscribe. Ring that bell, you guys, so korang akan tahu bila kita have a new one on this channel. And don't fall for it. Jangan jadi macam orang lain, though. I'm serious. Be you. Love you all. Assalamualaikum.